This is the last part of 12.1. We're at 12.1D. We're going to make a circle graph from data. And the three previous parts to this lesson, 12.1 A, B, and C, are linked in the description if you need them. A circle graph compares data that are parts of a whole unit. When we make a circle graph, we find the measure of each central angle. A central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. So this blue area here is a central angle. We can make a circle graph to represent data given in a table. Here we've got a table of ice cream flavors sold. So maybe these are scoops of ice cream a shop sold. We have 110 vanilla, we have 300 chocolate, 40 strawberry, and 150 pistachio. We add up all the amounts. We get a total, 600. That's going to be our whole. We write each part as a fraction of the whole. So vanilla is 110 over 600, chocolate is 300 over 600, strawberry is 40 over 600, pistachio is 150 over 600. Now we multiply each fraction by 360 degrees to calculate the central angle measure because a circle is 360 degrees, isn't it? So our vanilla fraction is multiplied by 360. We get 39,600. We divide it by that 600 and get 66 degrees. We do th the same thing for chocolate, strawberry, and pistachio. We do our multiplication and our division. For chocolate, we get 180 degrees. For strawberry, we get 24 degrees. For pistachio, we get 90 degrees. Now what we do is make a circle graph with the angle measures. Looking at these angle measures, if we add them all up, if we total them up, they're going to equal 360 degrees. The easiest one to start with would be chocolate because it's going to be a semicircle. It's going to be half of a circle. 180 degrees is half of 360. We can just draw a line straight down and we know that's our chocolate. The other easy one is pistachio because 90 degrees would be a fourth. So that would be right here. It's like the corner of a box, isn't it? Then we can use our protractor to mark off what 66 degrees or 24 degrees are, and we have our strawberry and vanilla sections. We color each section of the circle to match the data. So real quick recap, we look at the information from the table, we total them up to get a whole amount, we write that information from each separate one over the total, the whole, we get a fraction. We multiply each fraction by the 360 degrees of a circle, and we do our little division, and we get the degrees of the central angle that is going to represent that piece of data. We make our circle graph. We measure those degree measures with our protractor and color in the section of the circle that matches the data. So that's it for 12.1. We're going to move on to 12.2, which is broken into two parts. The first part is about major arc, minor arc, and the arc addition postulate. And the second part of it is congruent angles, arcs, and chords. And I have two more theorems for you. Then we're going to move on to 12.3, where we're going to talk about sector area and arc length. Now you can see if you can try making a circle graph from some data. Keep trying. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next lesson. Bye.